One of the many common problems that we face in software development is handling dates and times. Dates and times probably sounds like an easy concept until you have to deal with the users and data from around the world. Then you realize it's complicated. Thankfully, there is a built-in way of making it easier and they are date time module, pandas module and date util module. The first thing is there are so many dates and time formats whether you are in North America or Europe, whether you speak in 12 hour or 24 hour time or even military time. And parsing date and time can be a bit of pain but that's not the most complicated thing. And we will prove it by converting these six string into a daytime object. So let's start with the daytime library. Python comes with the built-in module date time for dealing with dates and times. As you probably guessed, it comes with the various functions for manipulating date and time. Using this module, we can easily pass any date time string and convert it to a date time object. We are using a method called strip time. This method takes two arguments. The first one is the string representation of the date time. And the second one is the format of the input string. Date type 1 is the input string and next to it is the format of our date string. You might be wondering what is the meaning of the format percentage %y, percentage %m, percentage %t, percentage %h, percentage %m, percentage %s and percentage %f. These are known as format tokens. Each token represent a different part of the date and time like day, month, year etc. All of these tokens except the year are expected to be zero padded. Each token is considered as a decimal number. Capital Y represent year that is 2021. Small m represent month that is 07. Small d represents a day of the month that is 29. Capital H represent hour that is 23. Capital M represent minute that is 15. Capital S represents seconds, that is 27, and small f represents microsecond, that is 251460. In Python, dates are objects. Therefore, when you manipulate them, you manipulate objects, not string or timestamp. What happened is that when you have printed the date object using print, it used str function, so you could see a nice date string. It is most of the time the most common human readable format and is used to ease display. The alternative representation is used to represent the object's nature as a data. It can be get using the RDPR function and is handy to know what kind of data you are manipulating while you are developing or debugging. Let's move on to the next date string. Small b represents the short name of the month that is AUG August. Capital I represents the 12 hour clock and here mentioned hour is 01. And to represent morning time, it uses small p as am. Rest we have seen in the previous date string. You should be careful while placing the format tokens against the string date. For example, if you remove the AT in format string, then you will encounter with value error. This includes the space present in the string format when you remove the space. Let's move on to the third date string. Here, capital B represents the full month name. And rest, we already know about those tokens. Let's move on to the fourth date string. Small a represents weekday short name that is SUN Sunday. Small y represents the year that is 21 and four digit year would be 2021. Rest we already know about those tokens. Also strip time can convert any date string where date and time are separated by a space backslash or comma. Here date is separated by a backslash and the date and time are separated by the comma. Let's move on to the fifth date string. Small z represent a UTC offset, short form of universal time coordinated. 
a UTC timestamp is a number of seconds since the epoch, which is January 1st, 1970 at 00 hour and 00 minute GMT, short form of Greenwich Mean Time. We later separate the date and the time in the date string. And date type 5 date variable is following the ISO 8601 standard. A time offset is a time zone offset that needs to be added to UTC to represent local time. Let's move on to the last date string. Here, ND is not a part of any format token, so we need not to assign any token to ND. Also, even if the date string does not have time information, still date time returns the date object with 00 hours, 00 minutes, and 00 seconds. Now, it's time to convert the integer's date into a date object. Strip time only takes string as an input. So, if you pass date underscore integer variable, then it will raise an error. So, you need to convert an integer into a string. You already know about given tokens. Why we should store date and time in integer format? Because in comparison to string, integer only takes half memory to store the date and time. As you can see, the size of the integer underscore date variable is almost half than the string underscore date variable. Let's move on to the Unix timestamp date. Strip time method will not work here. So, we will use another method of date time to convert an Unix timestamp date into a date object. And that method is from timestamp. Now, it's time to introduce a new library that converts string and integer date and time into a date object. And that library is pandas. And the method that we are going to use is two underscore date time. Similar to the date time module, pandas also have date time and time delta object with similar functionality to that of the date time module. To give a quick introduction, we can convert date time and duration strings into pandas date time object using the two date time function. These functions do a great job at converting strings to python date time as they detect the date format automatically without requiring us to define it as we did it for strip time method. As you can see, two underscore date time method has identified the date format for all the six date. But sometimes two date time method fails to identify some of the date format. Here, if you introduce the comma between sun and day and between day and time, then it will throw an error. In such cases, it also has the option to define the format of date similar to the date time module. As you can see here, let's move on to the next part. Two date time method takes an integer as an input, but generally fails to identify the format. And you have to give the format information to the format argument against the integer date as it requires a format argument for the date underscore integer one variable. To convert Unix timestamp format date time, you need to use origin and unit arguments. Our next library is date util. The date util module is an extension to the date time module. One advantage is that we don't need to pass any passing code to pass a string, same as pandas. This pass function will pass the string automatically and store it in the date time variable. Passing is done automatically. You don't have to mention any format string. Let's try to pass different types of string using date util. Date util library does not support integer date type. Also, it's hard to define the format of dates if it is doesn't recognize any date format. In the end, let's compare the performance of these libraries. We will use the timeit library to record the execution time of the date time underscore perf function 
pandas underscore per function and date util per function. Each function contain the method which convert the string into a date object. If you run date time underscore per function 1 million times then it takes around 1.2 seconds to complete. Pandas underscore perf takes around 20 seconds and date util underscore perf takes 9 seconds to complete. Daytime library is around 90% faster than date util. Now, you know which library to use when performance plays a key factor in your software. Also, this concludes that if your date time and date do not vary, then it's better to use daytime library. That's going to be the end Thank of this for video. Till then, if you enjoyed this video or learned anything, leave a like. Thank you for watching till end.